Hello everybody, welcome to the preview of the final round of the NAF World Cup qualifier for the World Championship 2024. Um, this was 50 people and after five rounds they've kind of made a cut, a cut to the top 10 because uh, they wanted to do six rounds of Swiss but the game Blood Bowl 3 just like allocated five rounds of Swiss. So now what we're going to do is we are going to uh, like manually through friendlies play the final round. So as you can see, there are 10 teams in contention. It gets a little tricky for the bottom four there on 10 points. They basically need mass draws and the right people winning above them to qualify. Uh, but they have got a chance, you know, a slim chance, but there is a chance of the people there. You can see Misspell Tree, Shanda, Whirly Dervish and Kalon. They, they can do it if other results go their way. Um, if Seabros or Niagara wins, they're looking pretty good but again things can happen because be so the tiebreakers the first tiebreak was touchdown scores now unfortunately whoever shared this cut off the headers <laughs> but it, it is games played then points then one drawn lost then touchdowns for then touchdowns against and touchdowns for is the tiebreaker rather than touchdown difference so in this case um, what the people who are lower down want is they want Andy Davo to lose so that their touchdown difference will be compared to his. Or if um, Andy Davo and Toure draw, then again, you know, potentially Seabros and Iaga or Kalik, their touchdown difference will then be compared to Andy. So Andy is in a very tenuous position here. A draw or a loss is very likely to put him out. Um, Toure is looking pretty decent with a draw, but you know, obviously a win is more secure. Um, I already have a ticket to the World Cup, so it literally doesn't matter to me at all what happens. Um, I guess the people below me will be hoping that I win because that means an extra an extra qualifying spot, right? Because then mine doesn't go anywhere, and so they're really hoping that Kalik doesn't win because if Kalik wins, he goes up to fourteen points, which is you know ahead of any of the the bottom four can do and ties with the others potentially and then yeah Niagara and Seabros one of those has to win and it will put them on 14 points and in a pretty good spot because if they've won they'll have scored touchdowns and then again it, you know that's comparing them favorably to Andy Davo so it's very interesting um, I will do replays of all of these five games I think because it's only five games right might as well might as well show them all it's all somewhat interesting and can have a little look at the teams as well um, seeing as they are here so if we start with the top two ray top of the league has done it with wood elves and uh yeah what's this he's got a stripper a tackler i, I don't really actually like the, the size step in the blocker i i personally would have rather had two dodge and two wrestle on the lineman i think side step loses a lot of its value with one turns being hard with them losing sprint and the block, the block's okay on the catcher, like obviously it's not bad, it's not bad at all. Two re-rolls, Apo, and uh, obviously the big tree there. Uh, interesting, wait, the tree's got a skill. The tr this tree's got grab, okay. Okay, interesting, interesting. Not what I would have done, but you know, not, not terrible or anything. And uh, he is up against Andy Davo here with a completely completely bog standard um necromantic team there 12 players seven skills so you, every one of your positional gets a skill and it's of course just guard 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 max your guard and max your block um i did in super league i took one block one one wrestle wolf i think that's okay i don't think it's appreciably better or worse to be honest like you know sometimes it'll be worse and sometimes it'll be better uh, but like kind of block is the safer way especially if like you know you want to bang on people and you usually want to bang on people so probably block does edge out wrestle but wrestle just gives you a few tools if you're you know if you're worried about certain matchups i guess um so they're, they're the they're the top two going into it then the next two is well one's myself there you can see absolute bog standard lizards uh six blocks and there, so there is a certain variation and actually this is a lizard man mirror versus Kalik. And this is actually the we have we both have the variations. So I we've both gone six block. I've gone eleven players and three re rolls and an apo. And he has gone at twelve players, two re rolls and an apo. So I do have an extra re roll on top of him, but he's got a reserve on top of me. So 
you know, there's there's something there's something a little bit different there. I don't really know which one is better. I think it's six and two threes. I feel like if there was overtime, I'd probably rather have the extra player. Uh, uh, but like having to win, I thought with having to win each game, I thought having the extra reroll is better to fashion wins in the Swiss system. So I, I feel like if it was pure knockout, his way would be better. But it, for for just getting wins in normal time, I thought mine was better. Um, but you know, it's very very close together as to which is superior. Now I've got the two eleven point teams. This is a dark elf mirror. Niagara block and wrestle three dodge is totally standard. But then you know he's so he hasn't gone to Apo. He's gone twelve players. He's gone two rerolls. I think every every uh, dark elf build has two rerolls. So he he's traded an apothecary for a twelfth man. And he's also got a leader on the runner. Um, lots of people uh, like Kfog will tell you not to do this and just to get another dodge. Because often what happens is you end up using your extra reroll on failing a dodge with your runner. Um, and then Seabros has gone for something a little bit different in that he has gone for an assassin rather than a runner and has taken dodge on it. And then he's gone for the apothecary because he can't afford a reserve by taking the uh, assassin rather than the thrower, I think. Uh, is that correct? Yeah, because he's 105 and he's 100. So... But I, I think I prefer the Apothecary anyway, right? Because the Apothecary could keep a Blitzer or a Witch Elf in the game. So I think, I think out of these I prefer the... Uh, the... Sea Brawls team. He could have also just taken a second Lyman, couldn't he? I like upgraded a second Lyman to an assassin. Worth thinking about. And uh, so there you go. So there's a Dark Elf mirror. And then we've got another Dark Elf team here. Tree. Misspell Tree has gone for the same build as Niagara, the 12th player and the leader runner. Up against Whirly Dervish. Who has gone Wood Elves with a block tree? Okay, and block catches. Very uh, unusual build and a leader thrower. So this is very um, a very uh, unusual Wood Elf team. Skillless, skillless lineman. Um, relying on the positionals, I guess. It's okay, like uh, maybe it's a bit more high rolly. Uh, I don't know. I, th I think the other w the normal way is better, but you know, obviously he's he's in the top ten. So there you go. And uh, the last two are Shanda, who has exactly the same team as me. Wizard men six block three re rolls up against Kalon, who has the same team as Tree and Niagara. So all three all three of these have taken the exact same team, the twelfth player and the leader runner. Um, so there you go, very interesting, and they've all got, you know, they've all got kind of a chance to, uh, to do something, right, like, it's, it's, it's pretty, they, they're gonna need results to go their way, basically, um, the teams, the coaches at the bottom there are gonna need results to go their way, um, but they've all got a shot if, if they, if they win and all the other results go their way and stuff, and Kalon, you know, even with two touchdowns, He's got the fewest touchdowns. If he scores two, and Andy loses without scoring, there, there's a world in which Kalon qualifies. So, yeah, going to be super interesting. So there you go. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.